Today, I'll show you how to use Thunderbolt effortlessly. We'll cover panel functions, file imports, and seamless work initiation. First, understand the function of each page on the panel. Home page. This page provides a comprehensive overview of file information, job settings, job progress, device status, accessibility status, and more. Manual page. The manual page enables manual control with features like adjusting travel distance, setting target positions, changing modes, resetting axes, and locking buttons. File page. The file page allows you to view all files and access additional file settings. Menu page. The menu page provides language change, IP setup, U-Disk file upload, device mode control, alignment, access reset, multi-origin setup, factory reset, and system info for Thunderbolt. Auto focus button. Click this button to auto focus after placing the materials on working bed. Origin button. Set the origin point of the job. Frame button. Show the actual frame of the job. Second, import the machine parameters into Lightburn. The machine parameter files are stored in the USB drive included in the toolkit. Use the import command to locate the file you want to open. Various file formats can be imported, such as SVG, PNG, JPEG, and more. Send the file to machine. The machine will audibly notify upon file reception. Position the material properly. Set the origin point. Autofocus. Check the frame. Now let's start our first job. When we want to increase the engraving power for this job, we can also operate on the panel. Select the file page on the panel. Click the settings button in the bottom right corner. Choose layer option. Gently tap on the power to adjust the power settings. Verify successful parameter update on main screen. Position the material properly. Set the origin point. Check work area. Press start on the laser machine's control panel. By increasing the engraving power through controls on the panel, the engraving depth has been enhanced, thus improving the contrast of the engraving. Thank you for watching. I hope this tutorial helps you start using Thunderbolt smoothly.